Chicken! Free paper to nuke. Hey. <sighs> Whatever it is, come back later. Dr. Sun, I think we got... Yeah. It's Dr. Soon. <sighs> what is it? Uh, sorry, Doctor. I'm just looking for information on how you were treating Fred. I have caps, if you want to sell me your notes. Hmm? 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 I'm a doctor, not a secretary. What? I didn't say you were. Yeah. I said I have caps. I'll buy the notes you have on treating Fred. You have those, right? Man, he's really thinking. It's a difficult, difficult conversation for him. Wake up, Grandpa! Oh, yeah. When's the last time you set a bone or cleaned the rads out of someone's bloodstream? Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? Get out of here. Two hundred caps? Hmm. I do have a few notes here. You're welcome to them. Three hundred. Thank you, oh. Dr. Soon. Here are the caps, and I'll just take those notes. Are you hungry? Four hundred. Let's sit. I'll get you some noodles, and I'll look these over. I'm gonna sit all the way over here. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, you get the noodles. I'm gonna stare at this chicken. What are you looking at, chicken? I think I see why the doctor was so evasive about giving me his notes. I'm not sure you can even call them that. These are just pictures. Jesus. Anything useful? Yeah. Not much here. I, I mean, there's a lot written down, but not really a lot of anything. You know what I mean? No. He mentions using Radaway, and that's not working. He seems to think it might be some radiation thing, but then he tried stim packs, and, and he's just guessing. Like me. Who's Fred? What's going on? What's going on? What do we do now? We're going to have to find some real knowledge about medicine. You know, back before the bombs. There's a hospital near Good Neighbor. Let's see if we can find anything there. Alright. Let's get started. Follow cat. Oh. Oh no, we can. Okay, we can. Lead on! God. Jameson. Cat. Oh my god. Whew, you got you got the light step perk. I do not. What the we're, mind now. we're not here for you. If we must. Ah, not, defend well, yourself. Uh, shut up. We're not here for you. Just let us be on our way. Um, hey, got a sec? Hmm? We gotta ignore. Lead on. Stay close to me. We'll teach them not to mess no, with us. No, we don't need... Nice work. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Alright, I do like that lead on thing. That's pretty cool. Shama llama Jeez. Oh, signal detected. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's another signal. Annoying ass thing to have in this game. Jeez. Nice. Alright. They've seen us. The gecko mole rats. Oh, I knew we'd win. Where are we going? Defend yourself. Ha ha! Anyway, let's get going. Ugh, gunners. Seems you'll be helping me and John out today. We need to search the hospital. You take the lead from here. Okay. I know, this isn't the, uh... Hallucinogen place. Perimeter movement detected. Possible stealth unit in the AO. 
Where's that radio? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Where's this damn radio? Shut up! Scanner's clear. Ooh! Whoa, nice, nice gun. Perfect. Wow, you had eight bullets? I highly doubt that. I bet if I let you shoot, you'd have a lot more than eight bullets. Oh, this place. I remember this place. Uh-oh, someone's getting in their power armor. Must buy one. Okay. <laughs> no. Are we gonna put him in here? Ah, finally. This looks promising. I think I read about these. It it's kind of big, isn't it? Yep. Hmm. I wonder. If we could carry it. Gonna beep some borps. Beep some borps in there. You got this. Here we go. Start hitting some buttons. Yeah, this terminal might have some good information. It says stuff about tissue and imaging, so I think it is one of those body scanners I've read about. Hey, can you use your Pip-Boy and download all of this? This would be good to read later, I think. I'll get out of your way. I'll just reach through the uh, glass. This is the main terminal for the MRI machine. Your Pip-Boy can access and download the logs and raw data. Oh, I can't move. I think that scanner was for good, but I don't think I'd want to get in that. What if it broke and fried you or just trapped you? I don't think that's how that works. I mean, there's a skeleton in there, but I don't think that's how that works. Hi. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Hopefully all those notes contain something useful. Thanks. There's one more hospital I want to search. I think it's called Milton General Hospital. It's south of Diamond City, and I think there's a radio tower near it, north of the hospital. We should avoid that. Uh, the, the tower, I mean. Why? Um... You seem to be getting around really well. I'm not sure about that. I certainly wish I had a pit boy with a nice map like yours has. I've been in that area before, a long time ago, so hopefully I'm remembering it correctly. Alright, let's go. I was actually thinking you should lead from here. It's kind of a dangerous area between here and there, and your map is probably better than my memory. Okay. Let's go through the roof. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch. Got some stuff over here. Oh god. Looks like this terminal is all busted up. Let's see if there's any more around that might still be working. Okay, okay. You ever see that? Oh no, the, uh, the marker went away. Oh no. Come back, marker. I need you. Sweet. All right, so to get to this other area, I have no idea how to get there. So um, we're going in through this entrance, and this should take us to the correct elevator. Thank God you're with me. Jesus. I've been trying to record this for like 20 minutes, she keeps disappearing. I hate this building. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Get out of my way. Little, little help here. Nice work. Yeah. Defend yourself. You, you do it. Oh, I knew we'd win. <sighs> All right. I, I really hope this works. Come on. You have to get in the activation zone. It, it, ooh, oh, if she says, sir, this one's broken. <clears throat> oh my god. Where did she go? Like, she just disappeared. Oh my god, she transported upstairs? Are you serious? I suppose it was too much to hope for that I'd find all the answers at just two hospitals. This terminal's broken too. It's all such a waste. Do you ever wonder what they were thinking? Why they'd do this? I remember thinking, when I was a girl, that these people before the bombs were so smart. And even now, in among these ruins and amid the wasteland, I still see glimpses of what is amazing, but to them was probably as ordinary as a tree in the forest. But how is it smart to destroy everything? To destroy so many lives and to destroy everything you built and learned? What could make anyone think that after those bombs it would be a better world? Yeah, you didn't live during that time. People don't change. We're all garbage, cat. I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe, at least not on this planet. It all boils down to greed, like it always does. Oh. War. War never changes. Oh, you've <laughs> thought about this before? I suppose that's true. I'm going to kill all of your people because I'm right and you're wrong. If only war could kill war. Sorry. Sometimes I get lost thinking about that old world and what it must have been like. But it isn't like either of us know the truth. Maybe it was prettier, but probably just as cruel. Just as heartless. There you go. Um... Believe me, it wasn't easy. Wait, you say that like... Well, like you know for real and these aren't just guesses and dreams. But, well tell me, you're old? No offense, of course. Super old. It's great to see people rebuilding civilization. Um, I lived here over 200 years ago. Wow. I knew there was something about you, but I didn't think... How could anyone think... I'm happy I convinced Andre to save you from those raiders. And you're lucky I need to save Fred. Not that I think you'd wish him to be sick, of course, but... Otherwise, I'd bother you to death with questions, and I'd probably haunt you, too, after I die with more questions. I'm always happy to talk with you. Thank you. It probably seems... yeah. So, what now? Right. It's time for you to meet my friend Fred. He's... he doesn't know I was a raider, and I don't want him to. To him, I was a slave, and that pity is tough enough to handle. It might be worth looking around here a bit for supplies, or we can just leave now. We're leaving. When we're outside, I'll lead you to him. We are leaving immediately. I hate this. I hate this entire structure. All right, so I had some serious problems going up with this section. I don't know if it's just this building. Ground floor. It's me. Look, I don't care if you want me to go at a certain exit. I'm going out of here. I'm not going out a certain exit. I'm out of the hospital. Um, hey, got a sec? Lead on, but be careful. I'm not going. Breaking. Jameson. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to skip ahead with set stage and hopefully... There we go. All right, sweet. Whew. So, um, I did. I think there is an update. I don't know if 
one of the fixes was for the uh, Milton Hospital, but um, that's that's the only real time anything has been goofed up beyond uh, point of no return. But um, God, I hate Milton. I hate that hospital. <laughs> I never want to see that place again. Do I have, do I have God mode on? No. All right. Whew. Oh. <gasps> Chickens. Hey, is that lady going to scream at me? So that crazy lady lives in there. Did you kill her? What's up, dude? Katrina. I was getting worried you found a safe settlement to live in. And I see you have a friend. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry about the delay. We... Your hair. It wasn't like this when I left. I'm fine. Some men just lose their hair when they get older. It's nothing you need to worry about. Stop it. It's way worse now and you look awful. Whoa. We already know something's wrong with you. Don't argue about this again. You're such a charmer, Katrina. It's a mystery why you haven't found someone special yet. Or is this them? Of course not. They're... Look, I'm talking about you, and you stop trying to change the subject. I'm not going to die in the next few minutes, so take a moment to rest and I'll greet your non-special friend. Anyway, my name is Fred, as I'm sure you've already gathered. It's nice to meet you, and also to see that Katrina isn't traveling alone out there, especially for my sake. Uh, you by yourself out here? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. It's nice to see someone else with such kind manners. It's unfortunately rather rare out here. <laughs> I don't know, Katrina. This might be the one. Don't mind her glares. She knows I'm joking. It isn't any of my business anyway. I'm happy for both of your help. How did you run into Katrina? She hasn't mentioned you before, so I'm pretty sure you're new. It was in Diamond City, and they helped me search a few hospitals. Which reminds me. You have files on your pit boy I have a terminal in Fred's place that you can download the files to. Just go to the front of this brick building behind us, and you'll see the door. Okay, I understand. I suppose it's time for my interrogation again. Where'd your hair go? Yo, what's oh, what's up, lady? All right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Plugging into the terminal, the beep borps, the beep borps. Ooh. Hello, Fred and Katrina. There's a radio playing somewhere. Baby, you. Caravans. If caravans didn't ever come down here, I'd have gone insane long ago. Well, I'd also be long dead, too. Sometimes I do wonder if Kathy's caravan comes down here just out of pity and to refill on water. It isn't like I ever have much to trade. But talking is nice, and it's good to hear about what's happening in the Commonwealth. Though not a whole lot has changed, either. Raiders, the Institute, and the Gunners are still a big problem. Also, that reporter in Diamond City seems to know just what to say to make people dislike her. Poor girl. At least she tries her best. Raiders. At least one good thing about having the Gunner HQ so close is that it seems to keep the Raiders away, or at least it keeps the Raiders occupied. Of course, it could just be they realize there isn't much to steal from here, and why bother? Or maybe it's because of that one time Phyllis screamed at the Raiders, saying she was a synth. That certainly spooked them. Odd woman. Gunners. Gunners are being wiped out. I'll need to keep watch and make sure they don't start looking west. I should try and find out what's freaking them out, but I need to find out what's wrong with me first. Katrina, alive! Kathy's caravan came by this morning, and so... I was filling the water for the Brahmin like usual, and a girl just runs up and hugs me. And who is it but Katrina? I couldn't believe it. I almost didn't recognize her. She's grown, and it's almost been four years since that attack. She didn't say much about it, just that the raiders took her before she could get to the Minutemen, and I told her she didn't need to say more. No need to relive that horror again. She's safe now. We just talked about her parents a bit, and Kathy joined us for dinner. Shared some old caravan adventures. I'm surprised how much Katrina remembered of them, but I'm happy she did. She's sleeping now. I'm going to need to find her something better than an old sleeping bag. And of course, she already found out something is wrong with me. Always the medic, I guess. I hope she stays a few days before running off to save me. Katrina notes. Hello, Katrina. Smile. Dr. Soon, Fred notes. Dr. Soon, Diamond City. Fred paid him 400. Wow, that's a lot of... Fred notes. 
more tired, some odd hair loss. He says it's natural, but I know it isn't. Numbness, tingling in the hands or feet, tried stim packs right away. Fred was taking something Dr. Soon made for him, but who knows what it did or it's supposed to do. boop -de boop And archived. All right, unrecoverable. All right, cool, sweet. We got foggy. Hey! Hey! Stop. Stop. Please. Hey, Fred gave me some good information. It would have been helpful earlier, but that's Fred for you. I hope I didn't offend you about that whole you not being a special someone. I really appreciate you helping me, and I do want to know you as a friend, but that's all it can be. I'm not in the place right now to think of something more serious. Yeah, uh, also, you're, uh, it's because of Andre. It's okay, we're friends. Got nothing to worry about. You've got nothing to worry about. Thank you. I didn't think I had anything to worry about with you, but I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want you to feel cheated or let on. With that potentially awkward conversation resolved, we can return to our next task. Fred told me about some chemicals lab he was scabbing some weeks back. It's north of Diamond City, and it might be where he got whatever it is he has. But we don't want to get whatever he has. So first we'll need suits that will protect us. I assume any full hazmat suit will be fine. You don't happen to have one or two with you, do you? Um, I don't need any. Um, no, I don't have one. Yeah, it isn't exactly a very common thing to carry around, is it? I don't even remember seeing any at the hospitals we searched in. Seems we have no time to lose. I remember seeing at least one hazmat suit in one of the shops in Diamond City. That's on our way, so we might as well look there first. Search for hazmat suits. Search for hazmat suits. All right, so when... Hey there. Hi. We still need to find the suits. Let's keep looking. There's a chicken on the roof. All right. Chicken. Chicken, don't jump, buddy. Buddy, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're all right. Oh, you're all right, little baby chicken. All right. Okay, see you later. Oh, he's a fast one. He's a fast chicken. All right, I'm just going to go grab some. I think we might have some a good neighbor. So I'm going to do that, and we shall return. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did not realize. Wait. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Get on the ground. It's time to die. Oh, I knew we'd Just win. a little bit of overkill? A little bit. Hey, I, uh... Found a suit while we were killing. <clears throat> Is something on your mind? Um. I thought I'd take a look around. All right, I'll follow you for a bit. A lot of rabbits around here. All right, I. Did you just want to radiate? What? All right, I got a hazmat suit. I don't know what she wanted. Hey. Hi. Good. I think we're ready now that we have two working suits. I'd wait to put them on until we're outside the lab. Too late. We don't want them getting damaged in travel. The place we want to go to is Cambridge Polymer Labs. Fred described it as a big building across the bridge north of Diamond City. Let's go there now. Follow me. Oh. Hey, what the hell, man? Take my suit from me? That's not cool. This is the building. So, um, I'll just go over there to put my suit on. Stay alert, but no peeking. There was definitely a mod where someone said don't peek, and then we peeked, and like... Not were... exactly the most comfortable <laughs> thing I've worn, but mm. hopefully it will keep me safe. Lead on, but... Be careful. Be careful. Hello. Oh. 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 Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Oh, God. Employment opportunities. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a, I'm a doctor. Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demand, oh. question one. Do
Do you possess previous... Yes. Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning? No, I'm good. Um... No, let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. I, I hate all of these places you're bringing me to, Cat. I appreciate you showing me the Commonwealth, but I despise all of these locations. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime. And now we're trapped. Yep. Fred must have found some override. Kind of unfortunate he forgot to mention this part. Until the Piso oh God. Come on. Has been completed. Please report to the project lead. Dr. Ah, L. some terminals. Hopefully they work. You look at that one on the table, I'm gonna look at the ones along that wall. Nucleostrictive lining project. Project thesis. Uh... I, is it for, I don't know. I'm unsure if this is vanilla. I think this is vanilla. Get that pause button ready. Now this is all, this is definitely vanilla. Mandatory overtime. There's nothing here. Except for a thousand ghouls. We got this. Hopefully. Oh. Defense. Nice. Right. Yes. All right. Oh. Oh God. She's gonna get murdered. Find anything? Hold up a sec. Hmm? 